uh, hello friends today in this uh, tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to show uh, loading spinner or progress bar inside your angular 14 application so whenever you make any sort of uh, http request to a rest api to get data or display data inside your angular application so for this purpose we will be using this package which is called a simple ng loader so this is a package which is used to show the progress bar animation or loading spinner app animation before you make any sort of http request it will just be required for user experience so whenever user is visiting your website whenever they press a button it, it will be showing some kind of loading spinner kind of an application uh, animation so this is a package used here simple ng loader let me show you a simple demo of what we will be building in this tutorial so basically let me show you this is the button here if i click this button just see the in the console if i click this button now basically what you will see here let me change this to uh, circle so now there will be a circle animation playing here so you can now see this is a circle progress bar or loading spinner which is displaying here and it will display it for 5 seconds and now then you can see the data is returned to us you can see this is a json data which is returned to us 5 objects this is avatar email address first name id last name so basically it supports circle bar and uh, dots as well so it also supports dots animations as well so basically now if i hit this button so there will be a dot progress bar or loading spinner you can see that this is you can control it how much second it will have delay time this is a second attribute if you change it it takes a in millisecond so 5000 millisecond is equal to 5 seconds so basically if i provide here 6000 it will appear for 6 seconds and then it will go away after your data will be there you can see that so in this way guys you can uh, display a nice little progress bar spinner progress bar animation inside your angular 14 application using this dependency which is simple ng loader so now i will be telling you in the live stream how to step by step uh, implement this inside your angular 14 application so i'm using this dip, uh, website which is called as stackblitz.com so with the help of this website you don't no longer need to develop this angular project inside your machine simply go to it create an account by github and simply create a project so basically i have told you the package name which is simple dash ng loader so this is a package just install this it will automatically install the dependencies so th this is a package it's a brand new package only three weekly downloads are there so after installation guys it will simply after you download this so let me refresh it let me delete all the code and start from scratch so after you download this what we need to do is that just go to your app.module.ts file so inside your app.module.ts file so you need to import this module at the very top so you will write here import simple ng loader module and this will be coming from simple ng loader and now you need to import this so inside your import array you need to import this so just put a comma and import this so simple ng loader module so now close this file so we no longer need this file so now you need to go to app.component.html file so basically here you will embed your component so basically the component will be here simple ng loader So close this so this takes two options so first is the type of uh, animation that you want to show so there is a type parameter this can expect three parameters either bar circle or dot so depending upon which animation you want to show i will stick to the circle one and the second parameter is the delay 
how much delay time that you want to put so this is in milliseconds so i will put here 5000 milliseconds so this is equal to 5 second so now this is over close this file as well so now we will go to our uh, this file so basically inside this file we will have uh, a simple all the source code is given in the description of the live stream so don't worry so here we will be having a simple button so when we click the button so we will bind on click so when we click this button we will call this method which is call api like this so the label of the button will be simply here click so now we will go to this we will define this method here right here so basically first of all we will get the reference so by add the rate input so now to get the reference input here and then we will followed by name which will be of the type of string so here you need to import this so it will be imported at the very top so we need to call the decorator here that's it so it's a decorator so we will call the constructor so private http http client so this will be imported here you can see that http client this is necessary to make uh, request to the api so here we will define the method guys so call api so inside this we will simply make the request this dot http dot get and basically we will make this request to this endpoint which is request response in api users page is equal to 2 here we need to subscribe to this so when the data is coming back so we will console log the data so that's it this completes the application so right here on the right hand side if i click you will now see this will appear for five seconds so you can see the data coming here in the console this is the data having six objects so you can even change this to it is totally up to you you can also change it to dot so this will now show dot animation sorry this needs to be dots you can see that dots this is the dots animation so in this way guys you can display this loading spinner uh, animation inside your angular 14 application so thanks so much for watching this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i will be seeing you in the next live stream